Matthias Grote, when we are talking about endocrine disruptors, what on earth is that? Endocrine disruptors uh, is chemicals and, and, and it's, it's in combination of, of different materials and we know really nothing about endocrine disruptors and we want to know more about endocrine disruptors and that was the reason why we uh, tabled uh, during this week, plenary week, uh, resolution to ask the Commission to come with a list what does it mean endocrine disruptors and which, uh, which uh, materials are uh, endocrine disruptors. But sorry for asking you, uh, you are a parliamentarian, you're not a scientist. Um, is it up to you to find out how to describe a, uh, something we put into our food? I'm not, I'm not a scientist, that's right. I'm a politician and my profession is I'm an engineer. Uh, but there is, is, is a gap about knowledge and we want that the Commission really close this gap in the end of the day and there's also there was a court decision Sweden went to the uh, uh, European Court and also the Parliament uh, supported uh, this court case and the court said the Commission has to come with a list of endocrine disruptors and they, until yet they not delivered but why do you need that list? Is it such a dangerous thing? We don't know if it's a dangerous thing. Uh, we want to, to know more and this is our job to uh, ask for clarification, to uh, uh, push the Commission uh, that they are transparent on endocrine disruptors and they have to do their job. Yeah, but on the other hand, um, how did you know that there is something to be suspicious about? There, there are uh, indications that they are. Such as? Yes, there are indications that, that uh, endocrine disruptors are not healthy, or they are the opposite. And uh, we want clarification, we want studies at the end of the table, and we want also a list what are endocrine disruptors. But where do we find them? We have scientists, we have it contact material uh, with food, for example, it could be an endocrine disruptor, and so we, we need clarification in the end of the day. So and what are they customer, used for? Customer protection. They are used in plastics and, and other things, and uh, we want clarification. And do you think you will have it? And in what time? We will receive it because uh, the court, European court, uh, decided that the Commission has to propose a list of endocrine disruptors. But on the other hand, isn't that the national question? Is it up to the EU to decide what we are eating? No, not what we are eating. But if, if they are harmful things, if they are really harmful things, and we are responsible at the European level for food security, because if every, every member state is doing his own thing, uh, then we are ending up in, in, a, in a mix with 28 different legislation, customer protection legislation. And uh, so uh, it's a good initiative that the European Parliament pushed here the Commission for more customer protection.